Okay, what's the story here on golden rice? Rice does not produce vitamin A, does not contain vitamin A, and so people who live pretty much exclusively on rice uh, are, at, are at risk for developing a vitamin A deficiency if they don't consume other enough other vegetables like carrots, sweet potatoes, broccoli, and so forth. Um, and for the past 25 years or so, there has been in development a genetically modified golden rice, uh, which contains beta carotene, which is the precursor for vitamin A. This article summarizes the findings of an anthropologist at Washington University named Glenn Stone, who's been involved in the Philippines and studying the golden rice project for quite some time now. And he's kind of an interesting case because He's not an anti-GMO activist. This guy originally came out and said we need to give golden rice a chance to see if it's going to do what it needs to do to cure the vitamin A deficiency. But at this point, earlier this year in June, he came out and said, nope, it's failed. It's not going to work. And and there's he's gotten a lot of heat for it. So I'm not going to attempt to solve this issue today, but we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that's going on here. So first of all, the golden rice does not produce the yields that the traditional non-GMO rice varieties, of which there are many, uh, can produce given the cultivation methods that they're using. Um, in the Philippines, they recently banned all GMO crop trials. So it's pretty much on hold right now, and that's the result of there's been some Greenpeace activism looks like this is kind of a battle, folks. Uh, you know, they they destroyed, the, Greenpeace managed to get involved and convince the farmers to destroy a test plot on this genetically modified rice. And and lots of people have, you know, given, given them lots of heat for that um, because it has the potential to save lives. But at this point in time, the rice hasn't been sub submitted to uh, the regulatory agency for approval in the Philippines for commercial use, so it's not, they're not out there growing this uh, and replacing jasmine rice with this at this point in time. Um, so the yields are low, but I'm sure the biotech gurus are going to work on that and hasn't been approved for commercial production. There's been some criticism that it may not actually, the beta carotene in the golden rice may not actually convert to vitamin A in the human body and there's also been a question as to whether or not the beta carotene will hold when the rice has been stored between seasons and whether or not it will actually function after being cooked given the traditional cooking methods. And if you look down here in the comments, man, it is, it's a battle. Uh, every adjective that people are using is being criticized. Like, did, did you say that's bizarre? How is that bizarre? Ah, oh, what's your source for that? Huh? You got names? Where's your reference? I, I, I skimmed your reference, but uh, you're wrong. Yeah, there's a lot of bickering. As you can tell, it's a hot button issue, but let's flip on over to the International Rice Research Institute's website, Trends in Global Rice Production. It says here, rice is a staple for nearly half of the world's 7 billion people. That's a lot of rice. And one more thing on this page I thought was interesting. Similarly, rice consumption continues to grow steadily both in the United States and European Union as consumers diversify from, po from protein to more fiber-based diets and because of rising Asian, Asian immigration. That's great that they're acknowledging that people are transitioning away from protein or meat-based diets to more, quote, fiber-based diets. Notice they're not saying plant-based diets, but I'm glad they're acknowledging that. I'm going to flip on over to a pair of global research articles. Um, the International Rice Research Institute is directly funded by Monsanto, Syngenta, Bayer, and no real surprise there because this is the group behind the genetically modified golden rice project. Uh, and I was going to say that it's kind of a revolving door, but it's more like uh, an office in the same building. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking right here and... The leader of the International Rice Research Institute's Golden Rice Project is none other than Gerald Berry, previously director of research at Monsanto. No big surprise there, is it? 
One of the big concerns with the genetically modified golden rice and with GMOs in general is there's really no long-term studies that prove or show that these are, are safe and, uh, and healthy in the long run. And I think that's one of the reasons why people get so upset about this issue is that they're kind of using the human population of today as guinea pigs for tomorrow. Like, we're just going to see what happens. Um, I'm not trying to make this out to be some ominous anti-GMO piece right here, but what do you guys think? Um, should we continue to experiment with gen genetically modified rice? Um, should Greenpeace keep their necks out of this business and let them develop the rice that might cure vitamin A deficiency? Or do they have a right to be concerned and start in these protests? That is not water. Black blood of the earth. You mean oil? I mean black blood of the earth.